can I ask about the police investigation? Why do you think it's only started now? Uh, well, I think the public may well be asking that. Um, the commissioner gave a very full explanation this morning. The general police policy um, would be not to investigate a crime uh, of, of this nature, a relatively minor crime, punishable only by a fixed penalty ticket and fine, uh, which had occurred two years ago. Um, but the commissioner has said, given the degree really of public concern um, and clearly the additional evidence which has now been provided by Sue Gray, um, they have decided now is the time to start an investigation. But I can understand, uh, you know, there will be some members of the public saying, why has it taken so long? And this is a really difficult situation for the police. The legislation concerned is, is very confused. It was brought in very quickly. And of course, the irony here is that some of the people who were overseeing the drawing up of that legislation um, appear to be trying to rely on its um, the confusion within it uh, to escape responsibility. So, you know, it's quite a difficult issue for the police. It's not going to be that difficult or complex to investigate. Um, but as I say, working out whether a, an offence has been committed or, or not um, will have to go before the lawyers. Mm. You say that it's not that complex, but and yet there is a complexity there, clearly. How long do you expect it to take? Well, that really, to some degree, depends on, you know, how many people are involved. We don't know how many people and how many incidents have been referred by Sue Gray to the Metropolitan Police. Um, all those people would have to be interviewed um, under caution. Um, they might want to have a solicitor there. So there's a logistical issue there. Um, if they challenged um, whether they had committed an offence or not, the police would have to go looking for other evidence um, um, and ultimately seek a, uh, a legal opinion. So, mm -hmm. you know, it shouldn't take that much. It should be, you know, a matter of weeks. But, of course, if anybody then contests the uh, fixed penalty notice and doesn't want to accept it, we would then have to go to magistrates for uh, a trial. Right. So, uh, basically, the, the investigation will be... Ha has already spoken to Sue Gray and is going to talk to police officers as well who are around the Westminster area. What might the potential offences be and what might the penalties for those offences be? Well, that's the thing here. You know, these are fairly simple offences. You know, this is about um, the lockdown legislation, um, which essentially was that you had to stay in your home unless it was for shopping, for looking after a vulnerable person, or for essential work purposes that couldn't be done from home. And so I think there's been, there's been much discussion over the last few weeks about this point, about when does uh, a work event become a social event? Is that about cakes? Is it about party food? Is it about singing? Is it about invitations? You know, all that has been discussed. Um, and so the police will have to look at that, see what evidence Sue Gray has uh, collected, uh, might have to gather that evidence again to put it in a form which was suitable for a criminal uh, investigation, potential criminal prosecution. Uh, and as I say, probably put that in front of the Crown Prosecution Service to say, number one, uh, has an offence been made out? Is there enough evidence? And okay. is it in the public interest to take it forward? OK, Sir Peter Fahey, thank you very much for being with us. I'm sure we'll talk to you again. Thanks.